So the money is not coming fast enough. That's why when they say money on the bank, so he agrees. Hey yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another awesome video and yeah guys today I'm gonna be talking about a Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul's lawsuit And yeah guys before this video starts make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn the post notification to be a notification squad Because you want to stay tuned when this awesome video has come out and yeah guys let's get on with this video Woo! This is uh, Floyd Mayweather's response on the podcast And I, I saw something uh, Logan right. Paul he said you own some bread How you feel about someone making those type of accusations? Because of the territory, right? And you, you gotta realize, when you used to getting, um, you know, to them that's real money. And and I like YouTube because I don't mind getting a, a YouTube. Which means real money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, the money is not coming fast enough. That's why when they say money on the bank. So he agrees you, that he owns money to Logan Paul. You know, owes money to and Logan Paul. He shouldn't trip if he feel like he done great numbers and we done record breaking numbers. Then I, I understand nothing comes right away just like i'm still collecting checks from fights uh seven eight years ago i'm still collecting checks why because i made smart moves and i'm my own boss so they hate when the tables turn you know look how many years they've been owe owing us one but we never hey, we don't ever trip so now when the tables turn they say oh you owe us something be happy with the biggest pay that you ever got in your life Speaking according to this article the fire was a huge success with the reports suggesting they made 50 million dollars from a million uh, pay-per-view buys all right youtuber uh, Paul was granted two hundred fifty thousand dollars plus ten percent of the pay-per-view money which uh, if a reports if it reports accurately uh, comes out at five at five million dollars but I don't know how uh, this information is accurate and I'm just gonna rely on this uh, news article as this information can be false and it can also be true. All right, let's watch the second video. Uh, more explanation on the whole story. Left off, guys. So Logan is saying I'm, I may have to sue him. I haven't done it yet. I may have to sue him. Uh, this Can moment, Logan Paul something? already sued him, the story according to his uh, Logan like Paul's this. podcast, Impulsive. Logan and Floyd fight. Logan gets what's called show money. He leaves with it that evening. That's two hundred fifty thousand dollars show money. Pat on the back end, maybe maybe the pay per view buys. He hasn't seen anything yet. Floyd spoke for the first time on this, and Floyd came out and said, "Hold on. On the pay per view, those numbers exactly. aren't in yet." Then he used himself. Exactly. He said, "I am still getting checks for fights that I had eight to nine years ago." I just want to explain to you. That was an excuse. That, that was just an excuse. When you get the pay per view, we call that the drip. It will the rip drip. In. Now you will have your first pay per view payment in exactly thirty days, and that is also going to be so your that biggest means one. The drip Floyd get got uh, Logan Paul's money. But that can whittle all the way down, based on what your contract said. Most guys would never have rights into perpetuity where eight or nine years later that you would be getting a check. But Floyd's saying he did, and possibly he does. Most guys would be Nobody paid knows. at Nobody a maximum knows. at five years, and you could then even go sell the library. Nobody sees a cent in it from there on. But All just right. so you understand, if Logan has not been given a single dollar from the pay-per-view drip and more than 30 days have gone by, there's some tomfoolery in place. Now, Logan so it means uh, somebody's taking Logan Paul's know. money. So for me to pass judgment, I do need to disclose to you guys, I don't know what it said. But for Logan to start to get verbal about it and for Floyd to weigh in and say, yes, he is owed money, but I don't have the money yet. It's still coming in. And then represent That's a lie. That's a lie. Years. It's not right. Exactly, that's not right. If Floyd is waiting on money to come in to the Money Team account from, say, Time Warner, DirecTV, something along these lines, no problem. I can tell you for sure he already got some money that came in but within that's, 30 days. That's for months. sure. Otherwise, he would be days, also talking about it. Comes in. In another 30 days, it's been five, six, seven, eight months, which means five, six, seven, eight drips have come in. Now, there is a federal <laughs> law known as conversion. Which right. if the money comes in that is designated to go back out to Paul, but it doesn't, instead it goes and gets converted to somebody else's account or somebody else's money. Somebody gets put in hand. That's a fraud. It's a fraud right it there. It is extremely illegal. And I feel as though Floyd disclosing as limited information as he did, but he did not deny that he owes him money. Floyd doesn't want to get into legal trouble. That's why. Where that money has not come in yet, that would not be true. And I don't have to know their contracts for that. 
I know every 30 days there is a wire. It comes directly in, and there's been seven or eight, nine, 30, I don't know. How long so goes that fire? every month, uh, Floyd so keeps getting the money, here. and there's he never gives it to a Logan Paul. The fact that Floyd did not deny that he is owed money is probably giving a little bit of pause. That's probably a good thing, sigh of relief to Team Paul. At least we're not disputing exactly. the letter of the agreement that we have both signed. But where is that money? And if that exactly, money where the money at? It did, for sure. Where my money at, bro? And it's not still in the account, was likely converted. And now you've got a big problem. And that's where it's better if Floyd just went quiet and passed it over to the attorneys. Now, everything that I just said to you, that is fight business 101. Floyd might not know it. Floyd is not in the fight business. I know we want you guys to think he is, and I know some of you that have got the little TMT shirts think that the money team's a real business. It's not. It's a bank account exposed. that goes one way. Floyd money Mayweather exposed. In. They do not have a team. They Damn. do not have a staff. They do not have a lease. They do not have obligations. They don't have debt to service. It's not a real company. Big problem for Paul. He signed a contract with the money. That's a big problem. Big problem for Floyd if he received funds, and he did. And he converted those funds to his own. Wallet. Which it appears that he did. So this story is going to be ongoing. Alright ladies and gentlemen, you heard it yourself, so the story will be ongoing and I'm gonna keep you up to date. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to be a notification squad. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, uh, what do you think? Who is right? A Floyd Mayweather or Logan Paul? I'm, I'm, I'm on the side, Paul, because it looks like Floyd Mayweather actually receiving uh, Paul's funds and he's not giving it to Logan Paul. He's actually converting it to another wallet. So uh, nobody knows, but Floyd made a mistake. He talked about uh, publicly on a podcast, and now Floyd agreed technically publicly. He agreed that he owes money to uh, Mr. Logan Paul. Yeah, it's actually true that what Logan Paul said on his Instagram story and everywhere else. He's been screaming, Floyd, where my money at? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace. Woo!